When Maria's voice started on this journey three and a half years ago, our goal was to prevent just one family from this devastation. We have helped many more and are focusing on a clear message. Domestic violence is preventable when those who lead communities, those who lead them, know the signs of domestic violence and domestic abuse, safely care for others around them, and promote it within their communities. You, you need to be aware of other people around you that are silent at times, um, maybe don't know what to say. Uh, we need to be their voice. We need to speak up with them for them. I see the fear and uncertainty in the eyes of children who should live carefree lives. I know the pain and I know the shame of not having the tools to create a protective bubble around those I love. When it comes to domestic violence and abuse, this cannot be the case. We cannot remain silent. Silence is golden does not ring true in this situation. Education is key to prevention. We must work tirelessly to raise awareness about the signs of domestic violence. So let us be proactive. Learn the signs of power and control. Safely reach out to someone who may be suffering. Be the lifeline they so desperately need. Maria's Voice is creating a new initiative, developing their work based on five pillars, local government, businesses, schools, faith, and health care. I think that term voice is very important. As we honor Maria tonight, I just, to me, believe that we are all the voice of the 31 victims that I'm going to read tonight. Memory Lane powerfully shows us there are so many families in grief over their loved ones. We are here tonight to honor them and their families. A community can come together and say this will no longer be tolerated. Let, let us all do this, join together in this work to celebrate Maria Fernanda Bliss Pugh.